Happy Invisible Illness Awareness Week. I made 16 of them, including one for myself, and um, they all got used up. Like, everybody wanted one, and I ran out, and people were like, ha ah, why don't you make me some? But then last night, I only had like an hour to myself, so, yeah. Um, I'm sorry if I sound really nasally, because I'm just getting over a cold. Like, today is a lot better than, like, the other days, but, yeah. Anyway, I'll start with the questions real quick. Um, Jenny asked, do you tend to always relate things to pots? Um, sometimes I'll do that. Not necessarily all the time, but yeah, sometimes I'll do it. I don't know if I've um, necessarily ever written, like, a whole essay about it, but yeah, like, you know, when people talk about hardships and stuff like that, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, parallel with this, <laughs> with pots. Anyway. Colleen asked, um, do you have tremors? I don't get them, like, you know how you guys said that your hands will shake? I won't get them like that. Um, the only time I'll get them is when I am, uh, nauseous. Like, one time, I think I've had, like, one full body one, like, once. <laughs> um, uh, it was really scary, actually. Like, my whole body was shaking, and I, like, I had, I have poor balance to begin with. Even before I got sick, I had really crappy balance, um, so, yeah, <laughs> I was just, I was shaking so bad, and I was stumbling all over the place, and, ugh, it was bad, um, so, yeah, and, like, I don't know if this constitutes as a tremor or not, but it's really weird, um, besides when I get cold, my teeth will also chatter when I'm nauseous, I don't know why it is, but it happens, and it's really weird, um, yeah, so, let's see, Abby asked, do you ramble a lot? Yes, 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 oh my god, people tell me to shut up because I won't stop talking, like, I'm not kidding. So, yeah, <laughs> yes, I do ramble a lot. Emily asked, if you have an opportunity to do something, do you do it? Um, <laughs> not like you do. See, the thing with me is I have very limited interest in a lot of the things that they offer at my school. I am not really interested in, like, for a while, I kind of wanted to do drama, but I don't know, I hate staying after school, like, I hate staying after school any longer than I have to, so, yeah, um, I don't really like doing other things, because I just, I want to get home, and I want to be on the computer, and I want to be doing nothing, yeah, so... Um, but if it, yeah, if it's, like, relevant to my interest and it's really interesting, I'll say, yeah. Um, like, except for what Stacy said, she said, um, that she had the opportunity to go on the plane, like, sort of daredevil stuff like that. I had an opportunity to go on a really huge roller coaster, and I said that I would, and I didn't. <laughs> when we were going up to Mount Olympus, that's when that was. Um. Lauren asked, what are three things you want to do before you die? Well, I thought, I was thinking about this, and I heard a really good answer to this question. Like, I'm not going to say this is one of my things, but a really good answer to the question is turn, like, 80 or something before you die. I thought that was a really good answer, but I won't use that because, yeah. Um, I really want to go skydiving. Um, I'm probably going to do that on my... 18th and a half birthday. I can't go on my 18th birthday because it's in December and that means it's winter. And I'm not going during the winter unless I went to Australia and visited Stacy. <laughs> um, so yeah, skydiving. Um, be an animator at Pixar Animation Studios and get married to a wonderful man. 
so yes, those are three things. I have more, but yeah, those are the three that are the most important to me. Um, and Stacy asked, when you were younger, did you ever see the World Trade Center? Um, I didn't. I really wish I had, but I never had the opportunity to. I've, I really haven't traveled a whole lot. Like, um, the furthest I've ever been is to Nova Scotia, Canada, and that was like a one-time thing. Um, I did go to Quebec and Montreal for a French trip, but that we like drove, um, cause yeah. It, Nova Scotia is further out, if I'm remembering my Canada geography. Emily, you can correct me if need be. Uh, but I'm rambling again. <laughs> um, no, I I had the opportunity to go to New York, like not last year actually, um, but I couldn't go because I was sick. And it wasn't last year, it was two years ago. I'm sorry. Um, I still think I'm a sophomore sometimes, but I'm not. I'm a junior. So, yeah, I really wish I got to see him, but I didn't. Um, so, yeah, I have to think about my question a little bit. Oh, and before I said anything, um, I just wanted to say, Stacey, I hope your mom does well. Um, and same with your friend. I hope everything goes well. And, yeah. Um, and, Colleen, uh, I saw the original video you put up, like, when I first clicked on it. And it was in, like, its own separate page. The audio wouldn't play. But then when I went to our channel and clicked on it, it worked. So I was able to see it. And it was such a good video. It made me cry at the end. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. So that is about it. Um, my week. Let's see. Friday, I think I just went to school and came home. Uh, didn't... And this is, after school, I'm just like, I don't want to do anything. Um, and then over the weekend, I don't think I did too much either. Um, let's see. And then Sunday night, I started not feeling well. Um, let's see. I, yeah, I was doing math with my dad. I was doing pre-calc. And um, then I just, all of a sudden, I started not feeling well. And that was not fun. Um, so, yeah, and then the next morning I woke up and my nose was stuffed up and my throat was really sore. Um, I don't sound all that bad now. Like, I can still hear it a little bit. But, like, Monday, Tuesday, and yesterday, I was so nasally. It was disgusting. Um, so I missed Monday. And then I thought I was going to go back on Tuesday. But, um, in, I think, no, no, that was last night. Anyway, I woke up and I still did not feel well at all. And then last night, um, I was actually almost sick, like puking kind of sick. That was not fun. Um, but I went to school, ah, it was Wednesday night. Damn it! I can't get this straight. Um, yeah, so it was Wednesday night, or Tuesday night. Oh my, it's Wednesday morning, Tuesday night. I'm really sorry. I'm doing really horribly in this video. Um, so yeah, and I went to school on Wednesday. I went to school today. Didn't feel too well today during, like, end of sixth hour, beginning of seventh hour, but I toughed through it and made it through the day. So, um,. A few things that I wanted to talk about was that, um, uh, me, at least I, I am pretty much convinced that I have chronic fatigue syndrome, but now me, I, like, me and my mom are also kind of thinking that I might have fibromyalgia like Lauren does, because a lot of times, like, I just hurt, like, for no reason, I just, I feel pain, and I'm like, I don't understand, and it's been like that for me for a long time, um, my grandma has it, so, um, it would make a lot of sense that I had it as well, um, so yeah, we are going to see my neurologist soon, hopefully we can get some answers about that, and then the other quick thing that I wanted to talk about where the ribbons that I made, I don't know, a few of you guys saw it on Facebook, but, um, yeah, I made all the ribbons for my friends, and I don't know, I just, I love people who are asking questions and want to know more, and it, 
I and I really appreciate the support of all my friends. So, um, yeah, uh, I'll put a quick picture of us that we took. This isn't everybody because people kept running away. I'm like, ah, fine. Um, so yeah, here's the picture. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. Um, I gotta stop this because I have no idea what my question is, so hang on. Alright, so, um, my question for the week is, what gives you that warm, happy, fuzzy feeling inside? For me, um, one of the things that just happened, so it kind of inspired the question, I love it when I get followers on Tumblr, that's really awesome. Um, also, this may make me kind of a nerd, but whenever I get a really good grade, like on a test, I feel really happy and proud. And also, let's see, another one is like when someone compliments me and like, you know, I, I feel like good about myself, you know, stuff like that. Um, and there was one other. Oh, when me, when I have like a really good in-depth conversation with someone and we're just like on the same level it's it's so amazing like when that happens and stuff so yeah that's my question i hope you are all doing well um and i will talk to you next week love you